I just I really like Malfi to be whole characters, to do everything. They don't just write, they don't just perform, they manage, they do marketing, they do directing. So this next piece is a group piece they put together as a much bigger group you're going to see on stage because they had directors and editors that helped them make it, to be fair, only over the course of about five hours <laughs> combined throughout the whole week. But still, um, a lot of group work came out of this and I, I, I'm really impressed with what they've managed to do in their own time. So, could, do you have a name for your group? Like, you know, sort of apprentice style, or Apollo, or anything like that. Um, no, we've got, we've got a title. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. So, everyone welcome our last act from Malfi. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Georgian and how there's a lot of black boys in our community who want to uplift themselves but because of stereotypes in society they're struggling to do it. Um, so couldn't it untitled so these black boys could one day put their mark on it and title it themselves. When I was just a little girl I asked my mother what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Good afternoon and welcome to the 10 o'clock news. Today is 10 years after Damanola Taylor died in a council flat in South London, brutally murdered by some black boys in South London. They were telling me I would never make it. New government figures now reveal that there are 10 out of Nine out of ten black students are not going to university, but instead to prison. So I flipped the hat around on my head and cried, I will make it. I'm trying to make it so I can appear in the A-list, but just for now, I will remain to the guest list. Half of the black children in Britain today are being raised by single mothers. Raised by an amazing goddess known as my mom. She taught me to be a smart guy, not nothing dumb. To you, playtime might seem like fun, but to me, hard work, that comes before fun. 22nd of April 1993 saw the death of, uh, uh, sorry. 22nd of April 1993 saw the death of Stephen Lawrence. He was brutally killed by some racist people who refer to him as a N-I-double-G-E-R. Make a name for myself, it's a must. Go through to university, Get a degree, well, that's a good look. Kidhood to adulthood, Bashi said I should. I don't want to go to jail, but you people think I would. So, why are black boys now going around calling themselves this word, N I W G E R? I hate it when I see a brother look to another brother and call them a N I W G E R. It makes me feel that everything we, as a collective, struggled through as a unit while trying to throw racism in the garbage has failed because they hear them call to one another, Yo, what's good, man? And I, the G E R. I don't like it because I wouldn't like to call no one an I, the G E R. So don't bring none of that to me because this ain't slavery. I ain't owned by nobody. I am Jordan Lagley and I'm going to be a star. They were telling me I would never make it. Look at me now. I know I will make it. Hey, sir, sir, 